this recipe, you're going to need 100 ml of water, 250 grams of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and some red food colouring. Now this should make enough for about 20 lollies. To make this, the equipment you're going to need is So the first stage of this recipe is to put our sugar, cream of tartar and water into a saucepan. We now want to put it onto a high heat until all the sugar has dissolved. Now the cream of tartar is an interfering agent that will stop sugar crystals forming and hopefully leave us with a nice, clear, glossy lollipop at the end. So now our sugar's all dissolved. We're going to turn up the temperature and get it boiling, pop in our sugar thermometer and stop stirring it. So we've now been boiling our sugar mixture for about five minutes and it's reached hard ball on our sugar thermometer. That's about 128 degrees. I'm going to take a teaspoon of it out and show you how it reacts to cold water. So when we put this into cold water, it's starting to form something that's quite firm but it still doesn't crack in the way that we know that lollipops should. It's still quite soft and pliable, but definitely doesn't just disappear into the water. Okay, so it's now reached uh, the temperature that we're looking for, and I'm gonna demonstrate that by taking a spoonful and just dropping it into this cold water. Okay, so we're just gonna pop that straight into cold water, and what we're looking for is for it to set hard and basically crack. And it's setting in the water, and when we take it out, it should crack. So I'm going to take some of this out. It's set nice and firm, you can see there. And if you try and break it, you'll find that it just breaks down into lots of little pieces. So we're just going to put in a tiny bit of the food colouring at first, because otherwise it might go red straight away. Right, so we're going to allow that to cool just a little bit, so that when we uh, pour it onto our sheet of greaseproof paper, it doesn't spread too far. And in the meantime, we're going to grease up the sheet of greaseproof. Okay, so we're just going to get some light vegetable oil and grease up our sheet here. So we've allowed this to cool just a little bit, literally two or three minutes. And as you can see, it's a lot thicker than when we first took it off the heat. Just take a spoonful of your mixture and pop it straight onto your sheet. Just try and make it into a round shape as best you can. When you're happy, just lift out your spoon and get your lollipop stick. Just press that straight down into the mixture. Now, I like to just twist the stick from side to side to make sure that it's fully incorporated into our sugar syrup. As you can see, as our mixture has started to cool, it actually forms a more perfect round shape as it gets stickier, thicker and cooler. The first one that we did has slightly wavier edges because it was still quite liquid when we popped it onto the sheet. So really you're looking for a balance between something you can still use because it hasn't set too hard and something that holds a nice shape when you pop it onto the greaseproof. And that's how to make pink lollipops.